card number 26. Who is this guy? Manucher Gorbanifar. Manucher Gorbanifar. Gorbanifar. Manucher Gorbanifar. Look at this guy. Ollie was here with all the writing. Nietzsche. Nietzsche is dead. God. <laughs> Look at this one. The thing that says Nietzsche is dead. God. Oh, there's uh, Farsi writing as well. What does that say? I can't read Farsi, so I don't know what that says. For uh, don't know. I'm a contra, haha. <clears throat> o N plus F H. God is dead, Nietzsche. Haha, <laughs> that's what it is. Check that out. So, quote: God is dead, Nietzsche, and then it says Nietzsche is dead. God, haha. <laughs> Humor in the Iran Contra trading cards. Manucher Gorbanifar. Let's check this out. Card number 26. Arms Merchant. Manucher Gorbanifar. By November 1984, when expatriate Iranian arms dealer Manucher Gorbanifar offered ex-CIA agent Theodore Shackley his help in freeing hostage William Buckley, see card 24 and 25. He had already uh, failed three CIA lie detector tests. Four months earlier, the CIA had issued a, quote, burn notice, end quote, of Gorba, warning that he should be regarded as an intelligence fabricator and a new one, a new nuisance. Nevertheless, Michael Leiden, terrorism consultant to the NSC, and Israeli agent David Kimchi, C car 25, vouch for Gurban Afar to National Security Advisor Robert Mc, McFarland, C car 28. Leiden called Gurban Afar one of the most honest, educated, honorable men. I have ever known. Thus, Gorbanifar became the middleman for the first five arms for hostages shipments of TOW and Tomahawk missiles to Iran. Later, McFarlane was to refer to Gorbanifar as a borderline moron. <laughs> After the first three missile shipments brokered by Gorbanifar and Leiden produced only one hostage, CIA Director William Casey ordered another lie detector test. Gorbanifar failed again on every question but his name <laughs> and nationality. Afterwards, he appeared at Leiden's house claiming he had been physically injured during the test. Richard Secord became Leiden's replacement, but Gorbanifar was allowed to broker two more arms deals. Oliver North testified that Gorbanifar was suspected of being an Israeli agent. North also said that Gorbanifar had given him the idea to divert profits from Iranian arms deals to the Contras in a men's room. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the people who run are countries and spend hundreds of billions of dollars of our taxpayer money making deals in men's washrooms.